Hi everyone. Well, I'm sure you're somewhat as confused as I am, or at least maybe a lot of you are, when it comes to the impact that the H19 hard fork of June 20th uh, is going to have on you personally. Uh, but uh, after trying to sort it all out over the last day or two, uh, I've just decided that I'm going to let things settle out, uh, keep an eye on it, and I'm sure everything will become crystal clear to me uh, maybe over the next couple of weeks or so. So, uh, that having been said, what I want to talk about today is something that came up. Uh, from an interview I was doing with uh, at Ogo Chuck Wu, uh, an interview he requested uh, uh, with questions about my experience in filmmaking. Um, it was interesting how, as I'm answering the questions, things were crossing my mind, etc. Uh, and one thing in particular uh, came up that. Uh, is pretty well uh, an example of how you have to be prepared for anything that's going to happen on the day of the shoot. You know, it's one thing preparing for the audition. When you get it, it's another thing completely preparing for the shoot. Usually you have more time preparing for the shoot than you do for the audition. In this case, I believe I had a week Sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not so good. Uh, you know, it's bad enough having pressure on you uh, to uh, do the best you possibly can for, um, you know, the shoot. But in this case, I put a lot of extra pressure on myself, I know, because my shoot, were, my, the days I was shooting were going to be with... Uh, Colin Farrell, uh, and the film was called, at the, at the time, it was called The Farm. It was retitled The Recruit uh, when it was released. Uh, not only did I have that to contend with, dealing with Colin Farrell and the nervousness that brought on, but it was always also directed by a director that I admire muchly, and that's Roger Donaldson. Uh, you know, when you're dealing with really professional directors, you know, it's just such a pleasure, but it's also uh, very much a pressure cooker uh, because you want to please so much. And the biggest difficulty is listening to the instructions that he gives you because all of the energy that's around you, well, so you go at it, you know, and you learn uh, the lines and you've got them down pat and you study your character and you try to find all sorts of, 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 of bits and pieces that you can add to the character and building out that character. In this case, it was to be a psychiatrist, so I had to look at all of the factors that were brought to bear. And, you know, I went through the process. Is he married or unmarried? And I said, yeah, he's married. Does he have children or not? And I said, yeah, he's got children. And, you know, is he, um, you know, obviously as a professional, he's going to be upper class. And where is this happening? It's in an office at the CIA building. So I had to visualize. I mean, I went through and built all this uh, up, uh, you know, the whole concept of being present and so on. And I was pretty excited about it all because I had done a ton of work on this. And, um, you know, I thought I had control of it very much so. So the day of the shoot, you know, I get up and I did feel far more nervous than I normally would. After all, you know, I'm going to be face to face with Colin Farrell, I'll probably spend the day or so or more together with him. And of course, Roger Donaldson, who's going to be giving me directions. And because there's only the two of us, Colin and I, in this scenes that, we, that I had with him, you know, it was pretty important for me to be able to give him something to work with. And of course, to be able to listen and be present in this because it's just the two of us, right? It's going to be back and forth. Well, I'm set. I'm in my trailer and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And of course, I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious, you know, 
come on, let's get this thing going. And then the AD comes to me, knocks on my door, the second AD, uh, knocks on my door and says, Brian, listen, we're going to be calling you shortly. Uh, about a half an hour, I take it. And I say, okay, so I'm ready. Well, now the adrenaline starts flowing and I'm, you know, really in control. I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna ace this. This is gonna be so cool. And I'm looking so much forward to it. And then about 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later, there's a knock on my door. And the AD is standing there and she says, oh, Mr. Donaldson wants you to know that he's going to have completely new sides for you in five or 10 minutes. Uh, and then he wants you on set about 10 minutes after that. Well, my jaw dropped. I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, the sides that I, the lines that I had prepared, I've been throwing out and they're going to have the writer on set that day write these new sides for me, lines for me. And I asked the AD, what, what are we talking about, a line or two? No, no, you're going to throw out all that you have. Uh, the writer did say something in the vicinity of uh, 12 lines or so. Well, think about it. <laughs> I, I'm going to get those lines in 10 minutes, and I've got to learn them in 5 or 10 minutes. And next thing you know, I've got to be delivering them in this scene. And for who? <laughs> Roger Donaldson. And to who? Colin Farrell. Well, oh my God, you know, it became just so surreal. So I'm waiting. Okay, I can do this. I'm going to get them in 10 minutes. Everything's going to be fine. I can do this. If I can't get the lines memorized, I'll be able to understand, you know, being present, the gist, the idea of the lines. And even if I throw in a little bit of my own, I'm sure Donaldson being the director that he is will understand and so on. And I'm, this is all going through my mind. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for the lines. Knock on the door from the AD. Uh, Brian, uh, we don't have the lines yet. Uh, but the writer is going to meet us halfway to the set uh, and uh, give you the lines uh, then uh, so that you can have a few minutes with them before you, <laughs> before you get on set itself. I had never heard of anything like this. And I'm saying, are we still talking a dozen lines or more? He says, well, maybe pair them back a little bit, but yeah, a number of lines, uh, uh, but you have to be prepared for at least that many. I said, okay, do you want to come with me? So she, I'm following her and I'm going, oh my God, where's this guy? And sure enough, as I'm walking towards this building that I have to go in, the writer comes out, hands me these lines, just as I'm walking along, reads them to me, gives me some, he's obviously the writer for the, for the, the screenwriter for the, um, uh, 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 for the shoot and uh, he's reading the lines to me trying to give me the essence of the lines I'm saying okay and as I'm walking up the stairs he says good luck <laughs> Which, and I've got these lines and I'm trying to read them and I'm trying to understand them and I'm thinking well I'll probably have you know 20 minutes 30 minutes on set to be able to deal with the lines uh, so I'll just I'll, I'll blank everything out I said I'll get on set and I'll just stand there and I'll just read them over and over and over and over and over again as much as I can before I'm called to sit in and uh, do the shoot so I get on set Roger Donaldson walks over introduces himself shakes my hand uh, you know, and he said, did you get the lines? And I said, yeah. He said, okay. He said, why don't you, <laughs> why don't you go down or go, go over on set? We're all set up for you. Uh, we just need a, a few light lighting checks. And he said, sit down, uh, and, uh, and I'll introduce you to Colin. Uh, and, uh, um, we're going to be shooting this in a couple of minutes. Well, I said, you know, I just got the lines five minutes ago. Can I get a few minutes? He said, no. He says, you know what we're going to do? 
he said, give them to me. And he said, now strike that one, strike that one. And he says, so let's go with these six or seven and, you know, just get the idea and put them in your own words. But he says, there's one line, you know, you got to kind of get right. And the rest of it, hey, it's all yours. And what line is that? I said, he said, well, it's the one, would you rather ride in the train, dance in the rain or feel no pain? So, boy, I focused in on that line, went over to my seat, introduced me to, he introduced me to Colin Farrell. Colin's a great guy, <laughs> a really great guy. Made me feel totally at ease, uh, unbelievably so. I sat down, I'm sitting at the table, Roger's leaning over to me. Now, you know, he says, you're a psychiatrist, you gotta, and he's giving me some, some notes right off the bat. He says, yeah, so just be yourself, blah, blah. And you know, I just all of, almost immediately came to the conclusion that this guy is so good at making you feel comfortable. How could I fuck this up? And I really said, I'm, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna make this work, no problem whatsoever. So Roger then even said, and you know what? Don't worry about it. Just lay the lines down on the desk in front of you. And if you have to resort to them, just find a reason to look away and go up and give you, deliver the lines. And I thought, Oh my God, I could have given him the biggest hug and kiss you could have ever imagined. And Farrell's over there sitting laughing like hell because literally none of his lines were really changing or they were the same lines. The problem being that I think I was given lines that were a rewrite and they never gave me the rewrite. So he had the lines, so he was great. He was having a a, a hell of a time watching me squirm, quite frankly, as he told me later. So anyway, there you go. You can work like hell. You never know what's going to be, you know, on the plate until you're right there on set, ready to go. But there's one thing you've always got to keep in mind, and that is you have to be present. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adapt. And remember, even if they didn't change my lines, I probably learned those lines based on an expected response from Colin Farrell in this case. The question always is in the back of your mind, what the hell do you do if he doesn't do the line the same way as you anticipated? So regardless of how well you learn the line, memorize them by rote, you must get into the understanding of the line so that you know the essence of the line and where that line fits into the big picture, okay? So be present at all times, and then anything that's thrown at you, you know, you'll be able to deal with. It comes, I guess, with a little bit of experience, but if you approach it that way, even as a novice actor, you'll, you'll ramp up your, your um, uh, approach to acting so quickly uh, that you'll be amazed at just how comfortable you become, not only in the shooting process, but even in the audition process. I hope that helps some of you aspiring young actors out there uh, and or even some actors who in fact maybe already have a good reputation but are a little nervous on set. Don't be, stay present. Hey, we'll talk again soon, okay? Thanks a lot, take care.